How did you become the Undertaker? So, <laughs> so I, that's that's Vince's brainchild. So I went to another company, WCW, where I was uh, mean Mark Callis, and uh, right there, <laughs> check that young stud out right there. That's terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> you look that like guy's an enormous uh, Hobbit. Yeah, uh, just. Uh, <laughs> That's uh yeah we can take that down anytime. Uh, <laughs> so 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 I go there and uh, I, I was about I was there about eight or nine months and uh, my contract was coming up and I go I go in to renegotiate my contract and they were like look you're a great athlete kid but no one's ever gonna pay money to watch you wrestle. Like, I'm just looking for a little bit of bump, right? A little bump in my paycheck. I'm not looking for the mega deal. I'm just looking for a little bit of bump. Wow. Now, we're going to give you the same deal for a year. I mean, you're just, you know, you do great things in the ring, but no one's ever going to pay money to see you wrestle. Did they give you advice on how to get someone to pay? No. You? Wow. No. That, that, that was it. Wrong. That was it. So I'm like, okay, I've, my ceiling, I know where my ceiling is here, right? So... Uh, just through, uh, you know, a few different people, I get connected with some people in the, in the W that was WWF at the times, WWE now. And, um, I had a match coming up my hip was already bad at that point, even back really? then. Yeah. I, I, it, it got much worse, but I was already limping and, uh, and I just heard it when we'd got Vince, you know, they had said, all right, you know, they've got a pay-per-view just watching work, you know? So Vince watches me work, and I'm calm, like I, I'm, I'm, you know, talking to my buddy Bruce. I'm like, Bruce, my hip is jacked. He goes, just go out there. Vince is going to be watching, right? So I'm working with a guy by the name of Lex Luger. Went out there and did what I could. I sucked. I mean, I was, you know, I was, I was physically, you know, I was physically not able really to to go the way I could go. And Vince wasn't impressed. You know, he's like, okay, he's, you know, he's running the mill. Fortunately, guys like, uh, you know. Paul Heyman and and uh, and Bruce Pritchard, you know, they believed in me, and they kind of kept pushing to, for me to get this meeting with Vince. And finally, I did. I, and he calls me. I got to go to his house, right? So I go to his what house. Is Vince's house, like, fuck, you kidding? <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> it's fucking Where's nice. Where's he living? He's in Connecticut, man. He's so he, you're yeah, in Connecticut. Greenwich. Uh, yeah. So you I'm up in call to the castle. Oh, dude. Yeah, and that's what I'm thinking, right? Because most people go to the, you know, the office, to the, to the towers there in Stanford, right? And I'm thinking, fuck, I'm going to the house. I got this shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I go in and I have the meeting. The meeting goes for about an hour and a half. And, you know, and this is, you know, there's a lot of... Does he have I, a butler? Butler? I, I, <laughs> I know he had a housekeeper. I would imagine there'd be a dude with a British accent answering no, the door. No. I never no saw sleeves, him. sleeves, just ripped. <laughs> yeah, right. You had to be, everybody, everybody's Jack that works for Ritz. But, uh, so I go, I go there and, uh, you know, and granted, dude, we do some hokey shit. It is what it is. And they really, at that point, had some really, really fucking goofy characters. And, uh, and he, you know, he's got the look, right? And he knows how to, you know, he can read people. And he's like, really? I mean, no, I can't, I can't. So I got this long meeting, and I, at the end of the meeting, he goes, well, we don't have anything for you right now. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, fuck, I guess, uh, I guess I overplayed my hand here because I'd already give WCW my notice that I was leaving. i like, fuck, I kind of, <laughs> I mean, this is what I'm thinking in my head, right? I was like, right. he invited me to the house. He's going to hire me, right? <laughs> so... I, you guys, I see you guys down the road. So now I'm sitting there. I like, fuck, I got no job. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so one day, uh, it's getting it's it, getting close to Thanksgiving, and uh, they start doing this promotion where they've got this giant fucking egg. Have you heard this story? Oh yeah, the gobbledygook. The gobbledygook, right? They, <laughs> what? They, it, so we do a pay per view around uh, around Thanksgiving. It's called Survivor Series. So this year, this particular year, it's 1990. They're going to, yeah, there it is. Uh, They've got this giant egg on the set, on the TV every week. And I'm sitting there (laughs) thinking to myself, holy fuck. 
I'm going to be, I'm now, now I've gone from shower guy. Now I think I'm going to be Eggman, right? Fuck. I'm going to have to, you know, I'm trying to grow my hair out and I said, fuck, he's going to make me shave my head. I might shave my eyebrows. I'm I'm going to be fucking Eggman. Oh, and I'm, I'm a nervous wreck. Right. So one day I'm sitting at home, phone rings. I get up and go answer it because we didn't have cell phones back then, right? So, hello? And he goes, is, uh, is this The Undertaker? I was like, Undertaker, Undertaker. Undertaker in Eggman. Fuck, Undertaker. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, yeah, this is Undertaker. Yeah, I, I, and it was Vince, and that was how he introduced the character to me. He called you up and asked you if you're The Undertaker. Yeah. And I had no clue to what it was. And Wow. And uh, I said, yeah, yeah, I, I'm the Undertaker. Because I knew it wasn't Eggman. And right. like, everything had to be better than Eggman. <laughs> he wasn't singing the shower yeah, guy. Yeah, he wasn't singing the shower guy. It wasn't Eggman. <laughs> Flew me up to Connecticut the next day. Showed me the storyboards. And the character, the original character, is based on an old Western Undertaker. You know, the two guys in Main Street, they had the fucking shootout. One guy loses. Undertaker comes out and measures them, does the box. Well, that was the original likeness and and the name, The Undertaker. And uh, he had just never found the guy. He had had it for years, I guess. So-